I was interested in medicine very early on in my teens, but I only decided that this is what I wanted to do as a career only when I was graduating from uh, my undergraduate degree. So at that point in time, Duke NUS was essentially the best entry point available to me to the career of medicine. The fact that they not only uh, focus on the acquisition of medical knowledge, but they also take a long-term view. Um, for example, they, there's a lot of focus on ethics, communication skills, on making decisions, defending them and critiquing others' decisions. Um, and I felt that these skills, although they are more applicable to a senior doctor, um, learning them early, practicing them on such a, at such an early stage um, helps integrate them into the way we work and think. And that can only benefit us in the future. I think medicine as a career is a serious undertaking. So I think every applicant should um, owe it themselves to actually understand what he's going into uh, when he's applying to medicine. Um, what I did and what I would advise every applicant to do is to actually shadow a senior doctor and a junior doctor in both medicine and surgery in Singapore. Um, the idea of that is to get an idea of um, like how things are run, the lifestyle of a doctor, and more importantly, what you may not like in that specialty in the field, um, and whether you can live with the drawbacks of the, the career. I matched into Sing Health Anesthesia Clinicians at this track. I chose anesthesia, as you know. Um, this anesthesia is actually a small part of the, of the core curriculum in second year. However, um, it wasn't enough for me. I thought I might like it, but uh, I wasn't very sure. So I scheduled myself an elective at the end of my second year. And that, um, I, that kind of increased my interest in the field. So I did a research project for the whole of third year in uh, women's anesthesia at KK Hospital. I did a research, my third year research in KK Hospital um, in, with the Department of ONG Anesthesia. So my project was to conduct a clinical trial on this new machine that um, tries to maintain the blood pressure of pregnant women at a more steady state to avoid the complications of uh, hypotension that commonly occurs in this population. So after one year of research, I think the main things I've learned is that firstly, research is always done as a team. So the school's focus on communication is very useful here because you have to communicate with your team members, you have to communicate with other people outside your team as well. And actually these people could be your best source of support and advice. So I think um, potential applicants should, should keep their mind open, um, keep a positive attitude and be friendly to everyone around them. Residency application opens in December in your third year of medical school. And ideally you should have chosen your residency way before that and have strategically chosen your electives and your research to better improve your chances of getting into a competitive residency. However, that runs the risk of you um, confining yourself into a career path that may not be suitable to you. So I guess my advice would be to balance, um, balance the, the risk of choosing your career too early and being wrong versus getting more exposure to, art, of, to what's available to you because medicine is a very broad field. And, um, and then make a more informed decision. Yeah.